Hey guys, this is Nerdy Devil Dog here. Today we're going to be doing a disassembly and assembly video on the Heckler & Koch, or for short, the H&K 45 USP. So to get it right into it, we're just going to cover our safety rules and then start the disassembly. So the acronym for the safety rules is TREAT NEVER KEEP KEEP. Treat every weapon as if they're loaded. Never point your weapon at anything don't tend to shoot. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And keep your weapon on safe until you tend to fire. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the magazine, lock the slide to the rear, and both visually and physically inspect the chamber and the magazine well to make sure there's no rounds in there. And it looks like we're safe and we're ready to start the disassembly. We're just going to safely drop the hammer there. And as you can see here, we got this little notch in the slide here. And then we have this little button on the other side of the firearm here. So what we want to do is we're going to pull that back until this part is matching with the notch in the groove here. And then we're going to press this button on the other side. And then pinching it, we're going to remove the little slide lock here as such. From there, the slide should just go forward. And you can start by pushing the spring forward and out. And in like manner, moving the barrel. And as simple as that, you have a field stripped or disassembled H&K USP 45. To start the assembly, you just go in reverse order. First inserting the barrel, and then inserting the spring. So you want to make sure that that little hook is going to go down and flat against the barrel there. Just like that. Make sure it's straight, looks all right which point you're just going to put the slide back on the frame here you're going to pull it back until it matches that groove again at which point you can insert the little lock here again as such and I just like to make it a habit of chambering it a couple of times pull the slide back a couple of times just as such to make sure it's all seated properly at which point you can insert the magazine, safely drop the hammer there, and you have an assembled H&K 45 USP.